So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedbox here, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on 20 more videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions of what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel. So Hassan Nadam Najikram becomes the new WBA regular middleweight champion after he defeats Japanese contender Ryo Tamarato via split decision in Japan. And this was a very controversial decision in my opinion. Two judges... Well, one judge scored it 116-111 to Nadam, the other judge scored it 115-112 to Nadam, and the third judge scored it 117-111 to Murata. So, two judges to one in favour of Nadam, and it, this was very controversial. Like, I thought Murata won this fight by at least four rounds. Like, I had it 8-4 to Murata, maybe even 9-3 to Murata. Like, the first few rounds, I thought that Najikram just took them rounds, he seemed to be doing a little bit more. Murata didn't really start well, even though the rounds were pretty close. But then in the fourth round, Murata seemed to wake up a little bit and started doing more, and he picked up that round pretty easily. And in the second half of the fight, as we got into the second half of this fight, like, Nadam didn't really do much. He was, wasn't landing any significant punches. He was just moving around the ring. And in my opinion, Murata was landing the cleaner shots. So I don't know how... Nadam got this decision, especially not even in his own backyard. This was the other guy's backyard, and the other guy was robbed. <laughs> like, fucking hell. Talk about home disadvantage to yourself. Like, Jesus Christ. And in the seventh, it was either the seventh or the eighth round, um, Nadam was hurt by Murata, and he nearly went down in the fight. And that's one thing Nadam's been good at his whole career. He's very good at recovering. Like, he was knocked down about six times against Peter Quillen when he fought him for the WBO middleweight title. Like, he was down about 500 times. But he just kept getting back up. And when he fought David Lemieux for the IBF belt, he was knocked down about four times. And that fight was still close. Like, he was knocked down four times in the fight. And the scorecards at the end of the fight weren't even that wide. Like, Nadam, like, can just get up. Like, he can be knocked down multiple times and still make a fight very close, which is weird. Like, it's not like he's getting knocked down once or twice. He's getting knocked down about four, five, six times. But, yeah, Nadam at 33 picks up his first world title, well, full version of a world title. He's had interim versions of the world title before. He was the interim WBO middleweight champion. And... He was the interim WBA champion coming into this fight. He was fighting for a vacant belt. This belt was held by Danny Jacobs before he fought Golovkin for the WBA super title. So in my opinion, Gennady Golovkin is still the WBA full champion. He's still the real WBA champion in my mind. But yeah, Nadam picked up the victory here in Japan. He seemed to have stole one here. Like he's just stole a decision in another guy's backyard and ran. <laughs> but yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Sweet Boxing.